Hey, this is uh, Elliot Wave Sage. I want to do a quick video on uh, crypto. Like always, then this is financial advice. Always do what's best for you. Just use this for your education and entertainment purposes only. So I want to do a video on crypto uh, because I think we could be in an early uh, stage of a significant cycle. And uh, I think it's worth um, talking about. If you follow me, uh, we've really nailed this entire cycle. I think the crypto has been probably my biggest, um, you know, success rate of calling everything at the moment uh, that I right now, you know, when we entered this uh, market, if you look, we, we came in at a grand super cycle top. Right. So uh, this is correct in the whole cycle from the you know beginning of Bitcoin in five waves, clearly. And now um, we're looking at this kind of flat correction, uh, expanded flat correction to finish the super cycle degree in two. Now, some people could have this as an A and a B, and then you get C later uh, down down into this area uh, here. Uh, this this is um, always a, a possibility, but the reason I don't think that's the case is on the uh, longer time frames. Uh, we really have had. Um, some significant capitulation like on the monthly, right? On the quarterly, uh, we also have the quarterly uh, stochastics now turning open. Uh, and if you look here um, on the quarterly, uh, the last time that happened was in 19. Uh, so we're ready for a new cycle higher on a higher degree. Uh, so it's shorter time frames, uh, of course, could are going to be choppy and and uh, and scary, but I do think it's safe to say that this corrective sequence is, is over uh, at this point, especially with a clear five waves up off the low. And now the market uh, could be entering um, what I would call the wave three of the super cycle degree, right? Um, wave three um, super cycle degree is. Um, Something that, if it develops, will be pretty um, uh, uh, serious in terms of the gains, almost to the point like we had seen on prior wave threes. If you look at this wave three here, you know, massive gains. And then even if we go all the way back to the first cycle, and when it had its wave three, and you, and it, you couldn't even see, really see the wave four, um, but as you could see, the wave three essentially went vertical the, and it ended here at 17 with a final blow off top here in 19.8. So wave three should rival um, both of those cycles I just showed you. In other words, you definitely don't want to be traded in and out of the crypto market during this uh, this coming uh, time frame. And what we what I would like to see is essentially um, a, a relentless push higher with very little pullbacks. But the pullbacks we get could be violent, but short, violent and short. But we continue going higher. That's what I think uh, we will want to see if this is a wave three. And essentially, the market will just leave everyone behind uh, behind them. Uh, and, and, and that's way I would kind of uh, expect this wave three to look until uh, again it tops out uh, and 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 so on. So my guess is we're early in this um, this this cycle, and a lot of other professional investors think this as well. But from an Elliott wave standpoint, uh, I said also the characteristic of the market if it's a wave three is it won't give you an opportunity to get in. As you can see here, which is why I wanted, I I took a trade in position here, and on my videos called the buy. I, I did an emergency update to buy this because this was a sign of thirty thousand Bitcoin come in, and we got that. And you know, so I did trade in and out, but now I want my long term position. So. This is where I took it, and I took it early because if this is a wave three, it's irrelevant, a few thousand dollar difference. It doesn't really matter to me uh, the, the difference. And this, of course, was all before any of the ETF news coming out recently. I didn't know about ETF news. 
I had no idea. I'm just looking at the Elliott waves telling me that we could be going into a wave three super cycle degree on the grand super cycle. And we know Bitcoin and most instruments in their wave three is essentially a parabolic, a vertical move up and with very little pullbacks and the volatility you do get is massive shakeouts along the way. And really the only way you can uh, um, time this market, if it, my guess would be um, looking at a cycle uh, duration, four year cycle, or uh, if it gets truly um, mani mania uh, and we hit the, um, I call it the, the draws of wealth target where I connect these peaks and you know and just, so the first target would be somewhere around 120,000 uh for this wave 3 and again and essentially I want to say vertical but essentially a relentless move higher and then a massive consolidation where you could even go back and come back and retest 63,000 uh, the prior peak before you get the, the another another push higher where I think ultimately we get to 220 230,000 uh for the next five in the next end of a grand super cycle degree uh correction so that's kind of where my mind is uh and again where could some of these uh targets end up being uh if we look here it hit the 3618 um, so if we, we try to do something similar here, uh, and you can see that would get us actually up to this 177 area. Uh, so this is a conservative target, but we could get an overthrow target into this area as well and then come back down in. So this wave three uh, has a lot of potential uh, and for, for me, there, there really is, it's more about timing than trying to pr target a price uh, for right now. So because it's a wave three, I want, because they're so unpredictable, they can go so vertical. And what better news would be an ETF where all this capital starts rushing in and coming in that never existed. So my thinking is, um, to me, and, and that would completely legitimize investing in it as well. So I do think this has a potential to really run. Uh, he, you know, run, and I do see that uh, um, a possibility. And again, the next massive area of resistance is at this forty-six thousand area, and that's where I expect this first major impulse to finish, like I have it here. And then a violent pullback, but that pullback, you're gonna have to just not um, not you're gonna have to step away from your computer. I bet we get a pullback, something similar, maybe maybe not that deep, but something you know pretty pretty scary. And you're just gonna have to understand that this is most likely what we're coming to, where we'll come up. And a, a mass, a, a cra like essentially a straight crown crash correction to shake out the weak hands, to get out, you know, hurt people that chase it. And then, and then you get the massive opportunity where you start to form this inverse head and shoulders, the right shoulder, and then you come out and then it's all time highs from there. This is, this is the, the path that I expect it to go on. So that's, that's the um, bigger picture. Uh, and again, you know, you could, a lot of people were having this as a one, two, three, uh, and, a, and a four here. Uh, but uh, I don't have that right now, given the strength of this move th th and the other um, crypto equivalent stocks showing clear bottoms and also the um, RSI reset, especially with the uh, quarterly uh, where it is. There's a lot of opportunity to keep it going. So believe this is the probably the low uh, a trade. You know, this is a this is a really good low. Uh, if there's something like this were to break, though, just just let's say it would form a connector and that should take prices back down to this um, 3000, 4000 area to retest these prior lows and, of course, push this out. But this would again be a buy an opportunity no matter what happens because you have whatever you want to call it it's five waves up so if we have five waves up 
we need another five up to compete complete the uh, sequence even if it's a corrective structure where then this eventually goes to zero and becomes worthless you it, you won't it, you if you you're gonna see a c wave you're gonna see three waves if it's corrective but we most likely will see a three four five and then this will continue for the next decade but we should see with five up and five up and many other instruments that relate to crypto that we should see another five up higher in the future and if you really look at the up you know where we are this is uh, a good place to not be too bearish and that's why i've been um you know buying here and really you just need to hold uh, through this is my um, recommendation through this cycle uh, so I just want to uh, mention that uh, crypto is bullish and it has been behaving it went to 30 it broke um, got back in my um, long-term cycle four-year position maybe even longer and then now we'll just uh, ride it out and again if we do decide to dip in a flat and we're still in this two wave it's just another opportunity to buy more uh, more against this low and th and even something like this wouldn't surprise me but on the shorter cycles uh, we did make a higher high here it looks like impulsive off the bottom so it seems likely that this is gonna hold uh, here uh, with a with an impulse and even if you look here your impulse was your three is here with divergence so it looks like you know again we have in, we have uh, bottomed we have an impulse and now we're cons we're just like in this two wave and uh, I do think this is where we are we could we could see it pull back like this um, we don't know it could even be done right now but that looks like uh, let's see how this this is really an ugly uh, uh, st structure but it is five swings one two you know three four five and we had a lo higher low so I mean if you're super bullish you could even uh, call that a one another one two so there's a lot of um, possibilities there uh, so shorter time frames you could see it and then it could even make another push down to 28 you know 29,000 28,800 down to this area as well but it's um, nothing to be afraid of uh, crypto is bullish if this is a wave three of the uh, grand super cycle and you want to be long if this guys if this is a wave three you're gonna regret not being long now you may already regret it not being long here i mean for me like i said i long this took all the profit and back in and now we're good and i and so i've been really lucky i mean but now this is this is what we're gonna get now is there a guarantee you'll get this pullback like i'm showing it's just what's typical but i wouldn't try to time a wave three the the idiots uh here selling in the wave three out of this and then the one out of this they they um they lost on some gains that were unthinkable at the time when we were trading at 1000 no one would have ever imagined we would be at 19,000. not even a year later and as these shakeouts happened a lot of people were like hey man look i tripled my money you you guys are fools and then i'm like no now it's eight thousand. who's the fool and now it's like no it's 16 and it, it, you just don't know how high uh how high it's gonna go i mean look essentially straight straight vertical um and so we'll we'll worry about that problem later but i would expect a similar um a similar fractal but even uh stronger because it's in a three super cycle and uh the wave three of the wave three is really where all the money is and this is not the wave three that would be uh here this wave right here um, uh, and, uh, and of course this was this will be essentially straight vertical when whenever this happens it, it will it will you will just it'll be um, unbelievable um, in 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 the because it will be at a higher degree and a three of a three of a three when this happens I don't think it's here uh, it would surprise me that if you know some news comes out ETFs are approved the money starts flooding in that it goes straight vertical but it's not um, out of the possibility because again wave threes 
tend to surprise the market to the upside. It 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 is different than the prior cycles because the pullbacks aren't as um, aren't as severe, and they're in their um, there's there's uh, it's an uncharacteristic market to where it goes higher than people uh, expect it to and most people actually end up leaving the market too soon only the FOMO back in at the top and then lose everything that's typically uh, what the wave three does so the best strategy is to really just kind of have to hold it and just let, let this thing play out and I showed you some some other targets you know 120 the jaws of wealth target then you have 170 blow off top target and then i think ultimately the cycle peak target at 220 230 uh a uh, hundred thousand so that's that's where i believe we are going uh with bitcoin um right now so uh and we already see the dollar is weak the dollar selling off you have um you know potentially the BRICS currency being issued in gold, which will weaken the dollar even more. Uh, so there's a, there's definitely an environment and a narrative around a weak dollar, get out of dollars, bonds are selling off. We need money coming out of the bond market. Where is it gonna go? Gold, silver, you know, these the, the, the Bitcoin, the crypto, the stuff that sound money that's not, um, you know, not uh, being able to be, you know, diluted and, and inflated away and printed away. So that's what I see happening. So that's the story. And then the other story within the story is the um, other currencies that uh, in crypto that um, I call them. They're not they don't they're not CEO coins. They're not a they're not a CEO coin. They have, but they function like Bitcoin stores of value. Your Litecoin, your Bitcoin Cash, you know, and you could say Ethereum to some degree. But I do think these will also run uh, with it uh, just as strong as the others. And we're already starting to see these come to life. Like Bitcoin Cash really has come to life uh, for whatever reason. Uh, and again, if we take the big picture of Bitcoin Cash, it's pretty much been a dead coin for since it, um, you know, peaked when it initially split here. But as you can see, you have a one two, one two setup. You respected that low. Four years later, we kept it. So sellers are um, pretty much exhausted and nobody's long this coin anymore. And now um, with Bitcoin reacting, you get this vertical price action. And I expect this vertical price action to just only continue uh, throughout the next wave three. And I do believe Bitcoin Cash, like Litecoin, will uh, break out of this uh, consolidation uh, area that I have here and ultimately end up at 10,000, 9,000. I do think Bitcoin Cash in terms of a market cap and uh, based on, you know, and, and Litecoin and some of these others should be trading over 100 billion market cap given how um, wide, wide known it is. So many exchanges, uh, so um, the use you know, by everyone. I do think it's just a matter of time before this will come out of this pattern in a three of three of a grand super cycle degree and then end up in this area uh, for its uh, grand super cycle peak. And then the Litecoin, we, Litecoin's always been tricky because Litecoin, we've had this as a flat, an A, a B, and we were C, we're looking for that one more low, uh, but the, we, uh, that has been invalidated uh, based on uh, a couple of things. One, the, the peak um, break in the wave, um, the, the potential wave four here. Um, so, yeah, so this, um, this expanded flat here is a one, two, so you don't want to have overlap, and you have this overlap here now, so that negates um, the impulse that I need for flat and then you also made a, a higher high here here and here so the trend is definitely higher not lower so um, Litecoin is also about to make a move and Litecoin as you can see has this fractal where it goes through this sideways consolidation and I don't have all the data but for and then essentially just goes straight on vertical and you can see it's pretty much vertical 
with very little um, dips. And I believe the same fractal, once it, once it does enter its wave three of three moment, uh, it should do the same thing as the rest of crypto, just like we saw in the prior wave three. Uh, it should hit the first target of 1,000. Uh, but I would, because of the how um, extended fifth this was, you could see a similar extended fifth up until like four to five thousand uh it's the same type of um blow off which is why you don't want to leave the market too soon especially in litecoin looking at these fractals the extended fifth is um these extended fifths are a sight to behold uh and that will probably happen here with litecoin in the same uh fashion uh so there's there's these um ideas and so is this too bullish well if you go to the um the crypto um, market you know just the total market cap you know really it's a really nice impulse here with a nice three wave move down if we go to the monthly here you see this no rsi divergence so you did get capitulation it's a, actually a very clean chart per my system for a bottom uh, it's very clean you have impulsed up now you're in this too so again what this is tell, so telling me is we're probably going to see a four or five trillion dollar market cap in crypto uh, come in and again with five waves up you need another swing higher before if it's ever going to be a corrective if this is just a bear reaction and this will go to zero be worthless you want to see this one more peak this is where it will be more dangerous to be in crypto is after this sequence is finished unless you can get a four and a five that's why it was so important to get this fifth wave we have here if we didn't and we only kept that three there was always a possibility crypto would fade into oblivion and it would be um gone but by pull proving this fifth wave now it created a new uh, opportunity to go higher and then the market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum is kind of in the same uh, situation here and again capitulation no divergence per the system it's a clear uh, f uh, three five wave impulse up so we should see the same um, same reaction higher maybe to the two trillion level so the, there will be another alt season is coming again we had a weaker alt season uh, not for all coins but for some that was because of this wave five here and really the alt season that we wanted was bet you know back in 17 here um, we also had um, uh, you know a little bit of one in this in this uh, pump here but I do think we'll get in this wave three a massive alt season like the ones we had earlier so again you go you can always say is it too bullish it, it might might be but I'm just mentioning the Elliott wave patterns and where where we are and where um, it's it could be uh, letting us know is coming um, because again it doesn't seem likely that you'll want to be too bearish on this and my um, my recommendation is to um, you know not be so scared and worried uh, too much because uh, it looks like to me buyer buyers are here uh, and uh, and yeah and I do think uh, if we get this wave three uh, will be it'll be a sight to behold and we'll go to prices probably not that people um, seem unthinkable at the moment and may so maybe I'm not thinking um, high enough and maybe unthinkable is you know the four the five hundred thousand Bitcoin which you know and in you now you're getting to the targets that some people had of one million and um, that is it doable I don't think there's enough um, market cap um, power to get it up there like like we like in that unless there's some kind of hyperinflation currency crisis in the United States because again Bitcoin is priced in uh, US dollars here so if the dollar is under a currency crisis hyperinflation uh, then those targets of 1 million of Bitcoin I think could come into play uh, under those circumstances and that and this kind of where I end and I'll say you you'll 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 say that you'll see that um even if we make it up 
to these areas and, and I'm proven right. We don't know what things are going to cost here. Well, how much is a Lambo? Is it, is it, is it not going to be, um, you know, is it going to be a billion dollars for a Lambo? Not, not, you know, or, or, or what about, um, a gallon of gas? Maybe gas is $10, $15 a gallon, right? What if, you know what I mean? So you got to um, also understand this is priced in a currency that's um, inflating and it's going down and it's not losing its value and we may be in an inflationary environment. And really, you know, when Bitcoin has run this first cycle, this first grand super cycle is primarily in a deflationary environment until this final um, bit here where we had that burst of inflation. But what if the next phase of the cycle, the grand, the wave three of the super grand super cycle is an inflationary, hyperinflationary period throughout the world markets that um, that is possible, especially with what gold and silver should also do and where the dollar is going. Uh, you could see that potentially, uh, you know, things can get out of hands with inflation. Uh, here and um, and it may be for reasons out of the Fed's control uh, and we'll we'll see what happens but but for the most part I wouldn't be too bearish and um, and I do think there's a, a massive um, opportunity in crypto uh, to take take um, to highs that um, seem unthinkable because it's a grave three and and if it is a wave three you're not going to want to sell it you're going to want to hold you're not going to want to trade in and out the market you're going to want to just get a position and hold it you have to do that or because it's just not it's not going to be possible because i do think it's um it's just going to run if it's a wave three it is just not there's not going to look back so anyway so that's what I'm what's what I'm looking at. And then if we want to see the bear market continue, um, I think the most important thing uh, to see for the bear market to come back is you need to see uh, uh, a three three up. You know, now that we made this higher uh, high here in Bitcoin uh, here, it pretty much uh, now you'll want to see a finish extension. So you'd want to see one, uh, a, a three wave move up to this uh, forty six thousand area and then uh then you'll want to see a massive drop and you really want to see the rsi take out this peak uh and you'll and and on the weekly uh you'd want it you know somewhere somewhere in this area and uh and then what we'll want to see again if it's a bear market reaction then you would when this wave four comes you should um it should it, it it should be very uh, severe and very dramatic, uh, and not and not a shallow, uh, and where you get four and a five like I have here, you'll you, you know so we really, you know to confirm it you basically want to negate the inverse head and shoulders by having the four, you know fall off and break really break back below thirty thousand, uh, and that would be my sign that uh, that. Um, Perhaps it's a connector in the bear market's going to extend uh, and we don't get this fifth wave. But, but once we get this fifth wave, then there'll be no doubt that the bear market is over and we're about to enter in some uh, a massive opportunity. And then you and if you're lucky, you get this pullback I'm showing here the, to, to really load up uh, and, and be aggressive. Uh, you know, but that but the thing is, if we don't get this four and five, and we just get a three and this four dumps back and we're back trading in this 27, 29,000 area. Uh, I would be really uh, nervous that, uh, that, that it's uh, a connector and the original count uh, was right with this being the fifth and this being an A, a B, and then a C. Uh, you know where, where it, I guess the next, the, the right target would be at 8,900, but probably with tag these areas these little prior lows uh and uh so that's how i would look at it for now but for right now with the higher high i do believe whatever's happening right now is just another opportunity to go long uh if the market decides to um dump it's just take take their bitcoins off their hands 
I mean, it's just it's just really, um, you know, uh, people that don't know what's what's going on. They don't understand these things and they're just scared or whatever. But I but I'm willing to think you it may be more um, optimistic and we are in about a three of three breakout, uh, especially with where the dollar index is on a th right before it's three of three breakdown. As you can see here, when a one, two, one, two, we had a massive move lower. This actually supported the markets. The markets should have been down a lot more on Friday. I believe uh, the bears are, and, and fundamental investors are super confused right now because really they got the hot jobs number. The market should be down. You know, every, you know, Kramer saying sell. Everyone's it's the market's over to extend it. I have the, 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 the Twitter people that use, um, you know, they have, you know, more PA, you know, more technical like um, calculations and, and analysis that takes pages and pages of, you know, uh, you know, right up to understand saying, oh, it goes lower. Everything's going lower. But the, you know, the, the VIX actually was red and 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 uh, and that so the, the markets, this dollar weak dollar was what I'm saying is going to support the markets and keep them from uh, crashing. The market can't crash if the dollar's going down like this. Now, it's really impressive sell off um, to still have that happen with the dollar going down like that. But just think about how much firepower was wasted in the last two trading sessions uh, for, for very little to show for it. And in fact, some of my stocks were actually up. I own Schlumberger. I showed you guys that in a video, by the way, on that breakout week, weeks and weeks ago, that finally paid off. So it's not like things weren't green on Friday, but but th if this happens, whatever I'm showing you here, this is obviously going to support a crypto and commodity run and, and potentially support the indices, even if they're choppy. It, it can't. I don't think the indices can really crash like in, in, in this type of environment. Could they be choppy? Yes, but I don't think so. I think a crash wave is always dollar higher. And I believe that's when this is finished, then 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 you could get a, cra a crash wave uh out of out of this and we need to see where everything's trading at and what what where we are but if we but if we break this long-term trend line then uh then this is um extending and i wouldn't call it corrective i would call it this a major top and this is a one two one two and we could be going into a free fall in the dollar and some people have targets down in the 76 74 area um that would that just would be uh um a huge uh, uh, um, boost for gold, silver, all these things, if that could happen, but it's possible. But I don't, I think the market's going to trade like this and bounce and then, and then pull back and then it either will make a marginal high and then come back and retrace or it's, um, or it's going to just continue to chop sideways in this area. But I do, I do, I do think there is a possibility that it could open up and break down this trend line. If it does, then, uh, you want, you want to be long these things right now, these commodities and metals and crypto right now. So anyway, that's how I look at the market, um, guys. And like I said, the, these other coins, just, um, no matter what happens, just understand that at this point, if it's a wave three, you got to um have the conviction and you you just it's is it's not it's not like trying to trade in and out getting too cute with it because i do think when the wave when the wave 3 psychology hits and the, and it may be the ETF news or something else china is also allowing people to buy i heard again and maybe it's the bricks but when this um fever gets going you you really it's going to be really tough and you're gonna see moves just like we had here and here, um, but you know, you know, even more, a uh, more um, uh, uh, bullish would be the most bullish wave that we've ever seen in crypto, which is hard to believe to say that, but that's what this would predict. Because nobody, nobody would be long. Everyone would be worried about a pullback. Some people would be worried about you know cycle peak too early i want to get out but all that would be noise and it would just be um people afraid and not fomo in in and then what happens is people do leave too early 
and then it goes to some unthinkable levels and then they regret and then they come in and push it to even more levels and then and then the market peaks and essentially crashes what would they for them would be a crash for us you know and people that bought when i'm saying it wouldn't really even matter and i would be looking for that i would be looking for like the crash wave and then that's when i would know uh time to get out would i get out at the top no but i would know i would get out at the cycle peak um, because you would hear stories you know um like we did uh with um you know leverage being you know wiped out of the system and and just like a catastrophe uh, you know, of some magnitude at the at the peak, we would see it. So, anyway, guys, that's that's all I've got on crypto. I, I, it's a special update um, because I do see a lot um, a lot happening, and I don't. And again, you can even call this a, a, a head and shoulders breakout. So I think you just got to understand where we what's going on in the market. But I do think the moment of truth is right here. Uh, and then you need to see how this four reacts and if it does uh, come back underneath this support area then I think it's safe to say that this bear market is going to continue uh, and then it but if we can hold hold this and get this fifth wave then it doesn't really matter to me how deep this goes I mean it for all I care it could come all the way back and retest the lows and it wouldn't matter and that would be a buyable dip and, a, and an absolute gift if something like that happens. But I do think uh, a, viol a violent pullback will happen here. And I've already said that in my videos. Up, crash, and then if it's a three, essentially vertical move out of this. All right, guys, that's my update. We'll see what happens.